Tom is ready to go. He's a very, very funny young comedian. I'm sure you're going to enjoy him, especially you, sir. <laughs> you may recognize him from Comedy Central and Evening at the Improv. He's originally from Arlington, Texas. Here is Mark Britton. <laughs> I just want to say I'm in a very good mood tonight. It's good hair night for me. <laughs> See, all the women know what I'm talking about. Right now, though, my hair is at that length where I want to get it a little longer because every time I look in the mirror, I think I look like the cowardly lion from The Wizard of Oz. Put him up, put him up. A little bit about me. <laughs> A little bit about myself. My name is Mark Britton. I am from Arlington, Texas. And in case you guys are wondering about my nationality by looking at me, it's hard to tell. My mom is Chinese, which makes me half Chinese from the waist up. <laughs> my dad's black. I, uh... Yeah, thank you for applauding that. Thank you. <laughs> I think I get my sense of humor from my mom's side of the family. My mom's got a really neat family. My grandma is funny. The older my grandma gets, the funnier she is. I remember saying to her, I said, Grandma! Grandma! <laughs> Screw it. <laughs> my grandma's a funny lady. She used to yodel me to sleep when I was little. My grandma used to yodel. I can't sleep! <laughs> you know, it would've been different if she would've yodeled something I was familiar with, like, um, are you real? Are you real? Oh, the price is right. Don't you guys remember the, uh, audio, audio. Some of you don't have day jobs, and that's cool. So. Very cool. Glad to be here in Santa Monica. Beautiful Santa Monica by the sea, of course. I love being here. They took us out last night. Uh, I went to a, you know, a place I'm not usually familiar with, a, a dance place, a country western dance place, because country western's not my forte. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Chinese guy at a country western dance place. <laughs> Apparently it was Bonanza night there, which meant if you just like a character from Bonanza, you got in for free. I get to the front door, the guy goes, who are you supposed to be? I said, uh, you and an egg roll, Mr. Conrad? <laughs> I got in for half price. Uh, <laughs> apparently he's only on half of the episodes. So. I have to go to meat markets now. I have to go to meat markets, damn places, because my girlfriend broke up with me. Uh, well, because, you know, uh, I accidentally called her by the wrong name in bed, and then I, yeah, the, then I tried to cover it up. You ever do that? I was, I was in bed with her. I said, oh, Scott. Uh, uh, be, be, beam me up, Scotty. Uh, Sut Fazer's on stunt. Spock, Bone, Scotty. These are jokes, you guys. <laughs> Are those Bugle Boy jeans you're wearing right there? I was... Uh... <laughs> so anyways, actually, went out to the dance place. I do terrible at dance places. You know why I do terrible? It's because women... Women look at guys' butts. Right? And women like a guy with a nice, tight butt. My butt may not be as tight as I want it to be. Of course not. So when I notice women are looking at me, I put on that nice, tight butt look. Looks like my ass is hungry, doesn't it? I think I'll eat some jeans. <laughs> oh, man, I tell you this. <laughs> Ode to my best friend, $25. Some of you are going, so he owes his friend some money, so what? <laughs> Pull this out, I'll do another thing for you. Go ahead. This is a... Hi, I'm Casey Kasem, and this is America's Top 40. Our first long-distance dedication reads, Dear Casey, I've been a fan of yours for as long as I can remember. You see, the problem is, I have Alzheimer's disease, and... <laughs> Sometimes in the middle of something, I'll just, Dear Casey. So 
so this is what I do, comedy. I love doing comedy, you know why? Travel a lot of places, get to do fun things. I wanted to go into advertising before that. I thought that would be cool, because some of the commercials I see and hear I just don't like. The other day I heard a commercial for Miracle Ear on the radio. <laughs> Skip to the next one if you didn't get it. I tried to write a commercial for my advertising professor when I was in college, but he didn't like it. The object was, write a commercial for a product that's already out there, but try to reach a new target audience. Okay, here we go. Hi, my name is Mark Britton. I love to go out drinking and partying with my friends, but I hate it when I miss the party because I have to pee. <laughs> so now I trust Depends. <laughs> now I pee right where I'm standing. In fact, <laughs> I'm peeing now. That's my, that's my peeing face right there. If you walk up to me and I'm doing this, leave me alone. Not to be confused with the lady's makeup face, which is almost the same thing. Honey, you peeing? No, I'm putting on makeup. <laughs> and then I was watching TV. Something really made me really upset the other day. I was watching and they had uh, uh, one of the Beatles songs was in a commercial. And you know what? The Beatles never would have written a song for a commercial. They would have written a song about a commercial. Don't you guys think these are my John Lennon glasses right here? I saw an ad today, oh boy, about a maxi pad with wings and things. And though the wings were rather small, they looked uncomfortable. Who wants anything with wings inside their underwear at all? Thank you. Mark Britton. Hey, stay with us. Coming up next is tonight's special guest comedian, so don't go away. Don't go away now. It's China Man.